think grand that. finals. He was in grand finals and he unfortunately didn't he was quite grand get the final win. Final winners as well. Flet was so close, but Ooh. we're moving in. So okay. Costas is going to be rocking the A-list Johnny Cage now. For those that may be unaware, basically he's got run cancels and he will basically uh, base his entire game plan on those run cancels. He's going to jail you, he's going to end every single combo and nut punch which will lead into more run cancel pressure and basically with uh, A-list it's not about looking at his super meter, it's about looking at his stamina because that's what he's going to be spending to get the big damage. But uh, yeah, again on reaction to anything being dropped or missing he's going to get span. Oh, starts with a jump in too. Oh wow, catches big damage right off the bat. Just that, I mean, uses the bar for the combo, gets himself 27%, but also the first turn already has the corner. Ooh, oh, wow. no, bad environment interaction. Accidentally puts himself in the corner, but nice block there on the down four. Knowing that Costas is probably going to go for a down four and press a button, cannot get away with it when you're that minus. Right, he's at 35%, another chunky damage right there. I mean, right here, he can kind of go for this projectile trade. He's not really going to be missing out too much, especially with that life lead. And there's that oh. automatic ant here. Now, that was actually a really smart play. So Foxy orbiting had and took a step forward just to make Costas think he was jumping so it baited a complete jump he moved forward and stopped just to get Costas to press a button oh wow caught pressing buttons after the 4-3 on block really not good to uh, try to interrupt there but again Costas a costly drop in his cancel there gonna cost him corner pressure as well as a hard knockdown has the bar tries to bait him even nut punch but doesn't come a little bit of patience there from Foxy has to wait for the hat to come back on his head Good trade. Oh, not necessarily a good trade right there. Costas has got a full super meter. Unfortunately, wastes a bar and it whiffs entirely, but that's going to be big damage. Gets another cancel. Nice stuff there. 29% into restand. Good stuff. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Okay, so he ran in, used the environment interaction. Foxy playing really slow right now. Bags the forward two on hit. Gets him. Oh, no. Core pressing buttons. Uses the meter burn orbiting hat just to get some complete damage. Oh, no. Drops the hard knockdown. That is going to be a bit of a shame, but Costas, no bar right now. Actually, no, builds the bar oh, there. Oh, just, actually just right there. That's not going to quite do it. And it will on the final piece of health. Now, in that situation, I was a bit worried because he dropped the 2-1. Oh, turn from this. Turns his back to the camera. <laughs> turn from this. <laughs> yeah, just for those that do know, there are hidden brutalities in the game. And, uh, oh, some I, characters, I don't count that. Some characters can turn around. And Foxy, he's already, he's already established this new thing where whenever he plays Kung Lao, you know, Kung Lao does the brutality and goes, learn from this. Foxy, you may have heard us say it once or twice. Foxy, will, Foxy will do the brutality and then just go, Turn from this, and we're just like Foxy. I hate you so much. But I don't count turning your back to the camera as a secret brutality. You got Aaron Still Black, Aaron Black shooting crows. You got Reptile, you know, doing his thing with the force ball, and the head blows up in the acid. And then you've got I'm a I'm a, I'm a turn my back. It's it's coming out. It's cool. It's a cool man it's, move. It's no, it's it, it, it is cool. But we can see Costas going to Raiden. Doesn't K Top play this character? He does indeed. So okay, so um. I guess we'll have to see what happens. So he's gone to Raiden. It's, again, it's a character that Foxy's going to be ready for, though. I mean, Thunder God Raiden is Nivek's bread and butter, and Foxy has played endless sets with Nivek in the past. And obviously Raiden was adjusted, so he's not as safe anymore. So we're going to have to wait and see how this pans out. So well, that, that, first that's going to be very important. This definitely is a recurring thing in the league, though, especially with the K-Top and Costa's two brothers. They seem to just play each other's characters in tournaments, and I'm not quite sure why. I, well, I guess they can teach each other each other's characters, if needs be. So obviously, you know, the fact that obviously we know that Costas mainly plays at Aaron Black, Sub-Zero, uh, and it's uh, K-Top that's known for playing Raiden and also Predator, I believe. Uh, well, we have actually... with a crazy patience already, getting rid of that two bars. That's some serious safety gone from Raiden, just like that. Gets a hit again, breaks, but eats the same combo anyway for 28% damage, hard knockdown. Wow, just a patient oh, game from Foxy. There's a really chunky delay there from Foxy. I mean, what Foxy will do in that situation is he likes to delay, because if he delays his pressure, the only reason you're not pressing a button really is because he's going to go for a grab. That's what your brain is telling you. If he delays it and you think he's going to grab, if you start pressing buttons to take the grab, Foxy throws in a standing one and that's it. You know, he's going to trade and, and win that. Get some good meter built. Oh, but no! Press the buttons off being minus and there's a really good armored interrupt there. Good reaction from Costa. That is a very, very game-changing thing about this matchup is being ready for Kung Lao dropping that combo. Wake up, neutral jump punch. Very risky play, but he is going to get the forward one. Gets a full b, &B as well. No, again, drops the Superman. Not quite sure why we're seeing him drop that crucial part of the combo. Costs him the corner damage as well as the positioning into big, big damage coming up from Foxy. Foxy's not going to drop that two-framer now. Gets the 2-1, hard knockdown, has to watch out. Is Lucy going to try and wake up? Not quite. There's a gap there, tries to press a button. Gets hit by the down four, presses the button again. Not breaking. Opting not to break. Costas breaks really late. Costs himself a lot of damage. And wow, there's a conversion. For the anti and again delays the 1 1 2 1 2 to armor break and Foxy Grandpa just oh my days oh my Whoa. days what the hell is that turn from this turn from this incoming incoming in three two one no oh he didn't Learn do it this. what Foxy trolled us Foxy just trolled us so you spin me right round baby right round but what does Costas do in this situation because Pray. Raiden's not working and Alist isn't working he has one game left to stay with a chance to go to the season 2 finals if Costas loses this next game 
the uh, the last qualifier is guaranteed to be someone from the UK again. Now, the, the, the thing is in this situation is um, he actually got a couple of good hits, but unfortunately, he... Uh, I keep wanting to say K-Top because he picked Raiden. It's Costas. Um, it's an easy mistake to make if they pick each other's characters all the time. But I'll he, forgive he, you for that. He dropped a couple of really important combos where, like, if you're playing as Raiden and you drop the ending of the combo, you're dropping the Superman. The Superman is what gives you the corner carry. So if, if uh, Costas is going to drop that, then uh, he's pretty much giving up the entire situation. But speaking of corner carry and all that stuff, he has actually opted to go for his other character, which was Grandmaster Sub-Zero. Again, another character character Foxy has world class he's going to be ready for this matchup Practice so, against. I don't know uh, it's um, it's a difficult situation it's quite a bleak situation for him to be in he has to win three games in a row now yeah. knowing that two of his characters just straight up haven't worked so I don't know I mean he can still win he well, definitely it, it, can if win if he's going to make this set comeback it's going to be with Sub-Zero or nothing and yeah, let's, let's, let's remember, Foxy has lost to this character in tournaments before, but that was quite a while ago. Now He's I learned a lot about the matchup since then. Just about to say, speaking of learning a lot about the matchup, that's how Foxy approaches the Grandmaster. He'll sit full screen, and basically, if he's got a life lead, it's very difficult for Grandmaster to actually uh, do anything snatch about it, it back. Yeah, exactly. It's very hard for him to snatch that life lead back. But this is what Sub-Zero needs. He needs to get one touch on you in the corner, get a hard knockdown, get the clone out, and then it's party time. And that's exactly what Costas has access to right now. Gets the clone up. And just think, all that started just because Foxy unfortunately dropped the anti cross up. And oh, there we punish. go. Punish on the string as well. Foxy showing really good matchup knowledge right now. Gets a hard knockdown of his own. Goes to the armor break, delaying as well. Oh, there's that four. Good challenge from Costas, but I mean, he has this work out for him. Gets the throw. I think Foxy maybe predicted he was going to throw him towards the clone, so it the other way. And there's just a, a clean punish with a dive kick. Match Taking point to match point. Costas has one round. Otherwise, his dreams of LA are going to be just gone completely. Oh, no. Bad start for the round. Mia Van Hat tries to press a button again. Everything Costas has worked for for the past eight weeks is counting down to this round. If he does lose now, it will all be for nothing. Oh, nice. nice hesitate, hesitate, but did get a good block on that. Big damage here. Corner carry once again. I mean, this is still not bad for Costas because if he can just get one jump over or one repositioning putting Foxy in the corner, he can completely turn the tide in this matchup. Wow, oh, there's the a delay. delay. Once wow. again. There's a back three to chew up a crouching poke attempt. Delays it, strumming it like he's going to throw. Tries to bait out a poke, a life throw tech, but it's just not going to be enough in this case. If he can get a corner damage right now, if he can get him in the corner, get the knockdown, and get that game going oh. just like this, if he gets a clone, can make something work. Whiff punishes the back two, no, doesn't get it in time. And another good throw tech. Costas playing really well this round. Two out of two on the smart throw tech, but once again, there's a punish! And just like that, Foxy doesn't even need the combo. He's going to send Costas home. And unfortunately, it's been a good eight weeks for Costas and Harris, but unfortunately, his dream is over. Foxy is going to take him out of the tournament. I mean, there were moments of promise there. There were moments of promise, but the reality is Foxy, I think, just straight up outplayed him. And that's that. Costas needed to win that set well, to overtake under Jim. So now that means...